Good morning class, my name is Miss Katie and I get to spend the next 30 minutes with you guys doing some really fun things. But before we begin, I want to know who's heard of my favorite word. How many of you guys have heard of the word agriculture before? Well, when you hear the word agriculture, what I want you to think of is farmers and ranchers. How many of you have heard of a farmer or a rancher before? That's better. Now, when you guys hear of a rancher, I want you guys to think of cowboys and cowgirls. And here in Arizona, our ranchers or cowboys and cowgirls take care of three different types of animals. Can anybody tell me an animal that a, far, a rancher might take care of? That's right, our ranchers here in Arizona, they take care of horses. They also take care of cattle. Can anybody tell me what type of cattle or cows that ranchers take care of? That's right, they take care of beef cattle, animals that we get things like hamburger and steaks and other byproducts from. Can anybody think of that third animal that ranchers take care of? No, not chickens. I'm gonna give you a hint. I'm gonna make the sound. So our ranchers here in Arizona, they take care of horses, they take care of beef cattle, and they also take care of ba. That's right, they take care of sheep. Now, here in Arizona, our farmers also take care of animals, but they take care of different animals than our ranchers. Can anybody tell me an animal that a farmer takes care of? That's right, chickens. Can anybody tell me what we get from chickens? Yes, we get meat from chickens and we also get eggs from chickens. Can anybody think of another animal that a farmer takes care of? That's right, pigs. What do we get from pigs? Bacon, sausage, ham, hot dogs, very good. And can anybody think of the third animal that our farmers take care of? That's right, they also take care of cows. Can anybody think of what type of cows farmers take care of? Dairy cows, and what do we get from our dairy cows? That's right, we get milk, and we can take that milk to make other things like cheese and yogurt, and my very favorite, ice cream. Well, now we know that farmers and ranchers take care of animals, but do farmers also do something else? They do? What do they do? That's right, they grow things, and the things that they grow we call crops. Can you guys think of something that a farmer grows? either fruits or vegetables or fibers or grains. That's right, apples, oranges, watermelons, zucchini, celery, broccoli. Very good. Well, today we're going to talk about my favorite thing that farmers grow. And my favorite thing that farmers grow is pumpkins. How many of you guys like pumpkins? Well, all right. Well, what we're going to do today to learn about pumpkins is we're going to start by reading a book about pumpkins. And our story today is called The Pumpkin Book. Now, it's very important that we listen carefully to our story today because we're going to do a really fun activity after. And all the information we need for our activity is in this story. So let's make sure we're sitting crisscross applesauce on our pockets, hands in our laps, and bubbles in our mouths. Are we ready? Here we go, The Pumpkin Book by Gail Gibbons. Pumpkins come in all shapes and sizes. Pumpkins are members of the squash family. There are many different kinds of pumpkins. Small pumpkins, big pumpkins, round pumpkins, tall pumpkins. Now you guys are going to go ahead and just proceed with reading the rest of this book. And then at the end of the story, just go ahead and tell the kids that they did a great job through the story. Ask them how many of them liked this story. Well, good, because I'm going to go ahead and leave this book with your teacher. And that way, if you want to remember something that we talk about today, you will have this book to read again. Sound good? All right. Okay, now you guys did a great job listening to the story, but now I want to see how much you remember. But to do that, I need to know who has a really good imagination. Who can play pretend really well? Oh, good. So what I want you guys to do right now is I want you to use your imagination, and I want you to tell me what this is. That's right. It's my big, fat, orange pumpkin. 
Now, when we were reading our story, we learned that pumpkins don't just magically appear. If we want a big orange pumpkin, what is the first thing we have to have? What is the first thing we have to do? That's right. We have to plant a seed. And we plant our seed in the soil and we make sure it has plenty of water and warmth from the sun, nutrients from the soil. And our pumpkin seed grows into a pumpkin plant or a pumpkin vine with our green leaves. And as our pumpkin vine grows bigger, what begins to grow on our pumpkin vine? That's right, our pumpkin blossoms. Does anybody remember from the story what color our pumpkin blossoms were? That's right, they're gold. Now, our pumpkin blossom gets pollinated by bees, butterflies, bats, other pollinators, and it grows into a baby what color pumpkin? A baby green pumpkin. And finally, our baby green pumpkin grows into a big, fat, orange pumpkin. Now, when we cut open the top of our pumpkin and we reach inside, what do we find? That's right, we find seeds. Now, can we take these seeds, plant them in the soil, and get all these things again? We can, and that's why it's called the life cycle of a pumpkin. It keeps on going. So today, you guys are gonna make your very own life cycle of a pumpkin. But instead of this life cycle of a pumpkin, you guys are going to make your very own life cycle of a pumpkin necklace. So when you get back to your seats, each of you are going to find a necklace Okay, with our Ziploc bag. And this is where all the pieces of our life cycle of a pumpkin are gonna go. Once you're back at your seat, we're going to pass out to you a little cup. And inside that cup are going to be five different color pumpkin seeds. Now it's very important when we pass out this cup, do not touch the seeds. Are you gonna to touch the seeds? No, very good. All right, ready, set, go. All right, now now that everybody's seated back at their seat nicely and quietly, we've passed out our pumpkin necklaces and our pumpkin seeds, I would like for each of you to open up your Ziploc bag, because this is where we're going to build our life cycle of a pumpkin necklace. Now, who can remember when we wanted this big orange pumpkin, what was the very first thing that we needed? That's right, we needed our pumpkin seed. Now I want you guys to look inside your cup and I want you to find the pumpkin seed that looks just like a pumpkin seed, right? It's kind of the brown color. I want you to take that pumpkin seed, I want you to put it inside your necklace. Very good. Now we planted that seed in the soil. We made sure it had plenty of water, warmth from the sun, nutrients from the soil. And our pumpkin seed grew into a what? That's right. It grew into a pumpkin vine full of green leaves. So I want you to take that dark green seed and I want you to put it inside your pumpkin life cycle necklace. All right. Now our pumpkin vine continued to grow. And then what grew on our pumpkin vine? That's right. Our pumpkin blossom. Who remembers what color our pumpkin blossom is? Yellow. Go ahead and put that yellow pumpkin seed inside your necklace. And then our pollinators came, our bees, our bats, our butterflies. And our pumpkin blossom grew into a baby what color pumpkin? That's right, a baby green pumpkin. So I want you guys to take that light green pumpkin seed or the one that's kind of spotted. And I want you to go ahead and put that inside your life cycle of a pumpkin necklace. All right, now our baby green pumpkin grew into a what color pumpkin? A big fat orange pumpkin. All right, now you can go ahead and zip up your Ziploc bag and you can go ahead and wear your necklace. And there you have it. We all have our life cycle of a pumpkin necklace. Now, if you take these seeds and plant them in the soil, do you think they'll grow? No, our pumpkin seed, that's the regular pumpkin seed, that one could grow. But these other ones, they were soaked in water and vinegar. So chances are they are not going to germinate or sprout. But go ahead and plant that little pumpkin seed if you want and see if you can get it to sprout. Well, I hope you guys had fun today. I have to go to another class. Um, but have a great Halloween and fall. And don't forget the life cycle of a pumpkin.